This is with Egghead Fixer. Today we're going to be discussing I installed Windows 10 and now my ASUS won't boot, screen is black, or it keeps on restarting. So the first thing I would do as a repair technician is my ASUS, I'd hit power and I would tap on F2 because um, improperly set BIOS settings are one of the main causes uh, for issues like this when you install an operating system and then it will no longer work correctly. So that's the first thing we're going to do, go into your BIOS and change the settings. First thing, use your tab button to adjust your date and time to the correct date and time. This just causes a whole mess of problems, so it's very important that they are set up correctly. Now use your right arrow key, key and go to your boot settings. Under your boot settings, make sure that where it says Windows Boot Manager or it will list your hard drive, make sure it's listed under boot option one. This can cause a whole bunch of problems. So the next thing we're going to do is you're going to use your arrow key and go up to where it says launch CSM and you're going to need to disable. And then we're going to go over to security. We're going to use your right arrow key, go down to secure boot menu, and we're going to enable secure boot. Uh, this just um, is the way the settings need to be set up to use for Windows 10 to function properly. The next thing we're going to do is go over to advance under SATA configuration. And this you're going to try switching between these two settings and see if that changes the effect. Uh, I would explain it complicated, but just try booting it up on each of these settings separately see if that fixes the problem. The next thing, uh, before you leave, make sure that you save and exit. Now if you find this still doesn't work, the next thing you're going to need to do is make sure you have a good quality Windows 10 installation media. If you bought something random off eBay, that could be causing you a problem, but we have a video down below that shows you how to make one of these for free from Microsoft. The next thing you need to do is, as you see me doing now, is try reseating your hard drive, which means just unplugging it and plugging it back in because a bad connection uh, can cause these problems. The next and final saddest thing is your hard drive could be going. Sometimes when you install a new operating system, it puts strain in the system and the hard drive just doesn't make it. But we got a video down below that shows you how to swap out your hard drive, maybe upgrade it. Uh, so, but anyway, that's the last thing. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or any ideas about some great videos, go ahead and leave them down below. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.